Okay, so there's a lot of videos out there. For, I mean, it's for every game showing, you know, like massive FPS boost, you know, follow these settings. And they just go into NVIDIA control panel or whatever, and they, you know, do some basic stuff, and they claim to have these massive performance gains. And honestly, it's less than 5 or 10 FPS. They, they really don't make that big a difference. Well, yesterday, NVIDIA came out with a new driver. Driver 496.76. Now, I thought when it came out that it would be, um, you know, a day one settings, a profile for Halo Infinite, uh, which I just made a video on that yesterday, enabling how to enable G-Sync in that, because it's not in the driver yet. But um, to my surprise, it wasn't in there, but something better. They, they added something a little surprise in here. And what it is, is um, right here. And it introduces update to the NVIDIA image scaling features to GeForce Experience and to the NVIDIA control panel. Now, they've had this image scaling thing in the video control panel for a while. It was uh, in the old driver. If you open up your video control panel, go to Manage 3D Settings. It's right here, Image Scaling. And it, it was called Sharpening, Image Sharpening. And, um, you know, you could turn the sharpening on, and there was a box you could check for scaling. And then when you enabled that, it would show these exact things right here, the same. You know, 85%, 77. But, I mean, it was it was bad. It was really bad quality. It, it's nothing compared to games that have NVIDIA's DLSS, which is, honestly, sometimes it makes the game look even better than native resolution. It really surprised me when they started improving that. But um, AMD came out with something to kind of compete with it, which was a new type of image upscaling. I think it's called AMD F FSR. And, um... So what that does is it's a new way of upscaling the graphics. You render the graphics at a lower resolution, and then the game with AMD, how it works, the game engine and the graphics card work together to upscale the image, and then it applies a custom sharpening filter. Well, NVIDIA came out with one in this driver. That's what they're talking about. They improved it. And if you have GeForce Experience on, you can go over here to Settings, scroll down, you'll see this thing right here. And this is really interesting. Um, so you, you can you turn the switch on, and you set what you want your render resolution to be, right? And then you can set the sharpening amount here. Well, you have more control over it in the control panel. Go here. If you look, you can turn it on. I just left the sharpening at 50%. And uh, they even have an overlay indicator, just like that. DLSS indicator I showed in the last video to show you that it's working. We'll turn that on just to show that's working. It, it'll be green. It'll be up in the top left corner of the screen. It'll be green when it's working. It'll be blue when it's not working. Um, and this has to be your. You have to run your game in full screen mode. So um, just keep that in mind. If you want, you can even apply it to the desktop right here. But I don't really see a point in that. So. Um, yeah, what I've been running in game has been this 77% at 1969 by 1108. And um I will uh I guess I'll I'll go in game and I will show you what you got. I'll show you guys what it looks like. Okay, so we're in game now and uh these are the settings I normally use. And uh I, I like I was using the SMAA, but I found out with this um uh, image scaling when you run it, uh, it, it it's there's a lot of al aliasing. I mean, the anti-aliasing is pretty bad in this game, anyways. And turning this on and leaving that sharpening filter at 50% makes it look pretty, pretty nice, actually. So um, normally I cap my frame rate at 120, but we want to leave it off. You can see the frames in the upper corner. Hopefully, you might be able to see this. I don't know if this performance overlay shows. And I don't know, I have the indicator for this NVIDIA image scaling up in the top uh, corner up here. But uh, yeah, I don't know if these things are going to show on the video recording. I've never recorded them before. Maybe they will, maybe they won't. But uh, I do have the in-game FPS right here. So we're on everyone's favorite Crucible map, Anomaly. I picked this one just because uh, it's a nice circle, so we can get just a good idea just run the same path each time so 
these are regular settings we'll run. Just pay attention to the FPS. No, not bad. Let's see, in this at 1440p. I have an RTX 2080 uh, graphics card. It's not overclocked. Uh, it's actually undervolted, but it runs at stock uh, clock speeds. If you can see down there, 1845, that's normal. Well, I do have a little bit on the memory clock. That is a little bit higher than normal, but I mean, it's not much performance difference. Okay. So there's that lab. Now uh, we'll do the next settings. Okay, so all of my settings are the same here, except now we're using the in-game render resolution. If you can see it, uh, it's still uh, the NVIDIA image scaling is still turned off because I still have the uh, max resolution set on full screen mode. And what I, the setting I've been using with that uh, new image scaling is 77%, so we lowered the render resolution to 77. And uh, let's see. It's, now, if you see the image quality, you know, it's not that great. It's a little blurry. Um, like, look at that rock real good. You see that rock's pretty blurry. Before, everything was nice and sharp. But, uh, I mean, the FPS is quite a bit higher, though. Going over 160 now. So, 75% of 1440p is 1080p. So, this is just a little bit over 1080p. This with the in-game image rendering, or resolution rendering. And if you see, it's just kind of blurry, and um, the FXAA is keeping the jaggies down, but yeah, it's still kind of like muddy, and just not very uh, detailed. Lose a lot of detail with it, but you gain a lot of performance. So that's the way we've been able to do it in-game. Okay, now, uh, next I will turn on this new NVIDIA image scaling. So, to enable the image scaling, basically all you do is uh, you go down and uh, hopefully the setting is showing up for you. Uh, for a little bit, it didn't show up for me until I reset the game a few times. But uh, yeah, this is the 77%, and I put render resolution back up to 100. So the game is rendering it at 77%, but now the graphics card is using its its uh, new upscaling algorithm, and it's applying its own sharpening filter. If you see up here, if, if that's showing up, then you'll see it's green, and the NVIDIA image scaling is turned on, and I don't, let's look. Wow. If you can see, it's a, it's a, it's much better quality than the in-game one. Look at the detail on that rock compared that's much sharper. That's much, much better than it was before. And performance is still not quite as high, but almost. We're in the 150s right now. So we'll do a lap real quick. And, um, yeah, this is, this is awesome. This is great. It's, it's not as good as a game with DLSS, but I don't have an AMD card, so I don't know how FSR is. But those FSR, they have to, you know, the game developers have to, enable that setting. It works based on the game engine. This is all driver based. This is all done on your own hardware. It works in any game. So you can see these performance difference in any game. And this is great news because, um, I mean, right now there's a huge chip shortage and graphics cards are very, very expensive. And, uh, you know, if you have one, you might be trying like me to make it last as long as possible. And, um, yeah, so this is great. I can run a much higher FPS now than I ever have before because I don't want to sacrifice the image quality, but this looks, I mean, in motion, I, I can't tell a difference between this and native. Now, I'm standing still. I can see, you know, the jaggies right there. But, I mean, when you're, you know, shooting, going around doing stuff with all the action on screen, it's going to look just as good as native resolution. I'm very impressed with this. So, um, yeah, there you go. Uh, <laughs> that's how you can really increase your performance a lot. Not clickbait, not any of that bullshit most people do. But, um, yeah, this new NVIDIA feature is pretty awesome. And, uh, 
that's all I wanted to show. I'm still working on those other videos right now. I just thought I'd make this one real quick because it was quick and easy to put together. And, um, yeah, I hope you guys uh, can take advantage of this. Take it easy. Have a good one.